Hey family, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, <laughs> so, I was just thinking about a story that my grandmother once told us, and this is a long time ago. And this is actually my mother's mother. And I was a little young girl. I could not really pinpoint how old I was. But the point being is that story really stuck with me. And she said there was a rich man who was known to this community to being the richest and most wealthiest man. And one day, I mean, he had houses, he had land, he was just filthy rich. So one day, he wanted to build a home. So in his town, he called upon a meeting, say, I want, I'm looking for a builder to build my home. And he sought out high and low and all the builders in the town and some came from far for this project because they knew that the man would pay them generously and they knew that you know it was it would be a great project so all the builders were assembled and the rich man picked one man out of this whole pack of people that had come from everywhere and most of the builders were so irate they were mad they're like how can you pick him he's known for corruption he doesn't even know how to build homes he's shady he has a bad reputation and the rich man said this is the man that i want to build my dream home and so um with that said even though the rich man knowing the reputation of this builder this crook he went ahead and hired him so he told he laid out to his his vision but not specific plans of the house he just said i want it to be the biggest house you've ever built I've, he had the money for every material whatever you need where i'm providing just build me the biggest house the most beautiful how home you've ever built with your hands so this crook said okay sure no problem and so um about two months later he calls the rich man over and he says I'm done with your house I mean the house looked so big and wonderful from the outside the rich man was really taken back how quick he did that job and he said oh okay so they were standing outside the house and the crook was just waiting to get paid you know he wasn't gonna take the rich man in the house for a tour cuz he knew he didn't lay down a foundation he just put stuff together he wanted to make sure the outside looks great and he didn't care about the inside he didn't care about the stability of the home didn't put much care in it just let me get paid that's all he wanted to do that's why he was known as a shady builder and so the rich man standing outside the house and he says good job great job and as the builder hands the keys to the home to the rich man, the rich man receives the keys and he gives them back to the builder. And he says, this is your present. I wanted you to build your home because I heard that you and your wife had been put out of your house and you were struggling with work and you have five children. So I wanted you to build a big home, the best home you've ever built for you and your family. And the builder was distraught now think about that story I know that hello I know right psychological effects of that story that's why it stuck with me this whole time in my life because the moral of the story is no matter what you do in life no matter whose it belongs to this is pertaining to your job school whatever it is even if it doesn't belong to you and you're just helping somebody on a project or you whatever it, my grandmother's moral to her story pretty much was whatever you do in life do it to your best do it as if it belonged to you and do it as if you will own it one day and you see you discover the blessings out of that because had that man done a great job do you think that builder wanted to stay in that house no he knew that his family could not live underneath that roof because that house was going to come collapsing collapsing down the minute a tornado touched down touches down or any natural disaster so family i love you that much and i just wanted to stop by and keep you motivated and remember even at that boring long awful dreaded job while you're waiting to get to where you need to get to your future destination work hard at it you just never know what god has in plan for you love you guys